What y'all doing out there in TV land, man? If you ain't tuned in to Kofi's universe, you slipping. That's why I go get all my info for Black Culture. He do the best album reviews I seen. You know what I'm saying? Dope rap reaction videos. He do it all. You heard me? Go to Kofi's universe right now. Subscribe to his YouTube channel. Man, stay in tune, loved one. That's how it's happening. Me. <laughs> YouTube salute, Dame Dash expresses disappointment in J. Cole for apologizing to Kendrick Lamar and says, J. Cole took that L. If you're new to my channel, thumbs up the video, hit that sub button, click that bell icon to be notified when I upload new content and go live. Shout out to all my new subscribers. I appreciate y'all. We almost at 30K subs and all the new followers on IG. Please follow me on IG, y'all. All right, let's listen to this. Well, I, I can tell you this. Um, as a fan, I'm disappointed. So, if Tank is about to fight Devin Haney, and, you know, for sport, because to me, I'm looking at this, it ain't real. It, to me, it shouldn't be. Those guys are both smart enough for that. So, it's entertainment. And those are warriors. And I want to see them fight. Mm -hmm. As long as they keep it on, on vinyl. vinyl. So uh, if Tank punches punch Devin Haney in the face, face and Devin Haney punches punch Tank back and then goes low, I'm sorry, I'm sorry man. man. And then they maybe become friends, friends, then they're, they're not, not fighting no more. I'm not going to be into Tank. Mm -hmm. Bad for Bad the sport. For um, um, when Jay battled Nas and Jay came back with that whack shit that Irv gave the beat for, and you know, you know, he was saying the shit he shouldn't have been saying. I wasn't there for that. He knew it was whack. He knew he had broke form, broke the nigga code by talking about another man. You know the shit he spoke about. And he went on the radio the next day and was like, "Yo, you know, my mom said I should apologize." And he was saying sorry. And I was in the radio. I was in the office, like texting, like, "Stop! Get off the radio! Don't say sorry. It's a battle." Like. So, so, to me, to me it was like it was J. Like Cole going, and no and disrespect to J. Cole, J. Cole. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> but as a fan, it seemed like he, seemed he threw like up he the white flag. flag. And, and I think, I think um, he was smart, smart on a on business, business level, level to capitalize and put an album, album out with the retaliation, retaliation and that shit did well mm -hmm. from what I saw. So for business, it was smart to put it out. Personally... I wouldn't, I wouldn't have gave seven, seven minutes, minutes pause. pause. I didn't I even didn't hear the whole shit. shit. I, thought I thought that, that um, you know, Kendrick, Kendrick assassinated, assassinated the niggas with the lyrics, mm -hmm. and the and beat was vicious in like, like eight balls, balls or whatever it was, you know, like, like quick balls, balls got, got, got out of there, and it seemed and like it like bugged them so much that he gave me seven minutes. It wasn't a vicious seven minutes. Like, I don't want to hear the Simpsons and all that in that rap after this thing was talking. Because the shit he was saying, like, when they were breaking it down, the words and all that, I was like, that nigga's ill. Like, I was like, that's some real ill poetry, lyrical assassin, and he's stepping up for the sport. I don't know what was happening behind the scenes. I just saw a lyricist, like, yo, I'm the best, and you're going to have to prove it. So I just think that in that moment, him apologizing, to me, was saying, uh, yo, you won. You're the best. I can't fuck with you. That All right. If you want to hear the full interview, please go to American New Network on YouTube, y'all. Shout out to them. But um, how do I feel about what Dame Dash is saying? I agree. I agree 100% because it's the fact that on a business level, yeah, J. Cole, he capitalized off dropping uh, Mike Diddy later. You know, the... um. That mixtape album, whatever you want to call it, is like the appetizer before his full album was the fall off before that comes out. So he did well with that. I'm not going to lie. The project is dope. The project is dope. It's just I put an asterisk towards J. Cole now because you took off the my delete later, excuse me, the seven minute drill. You took that off of all digital streaming platforms that like you can't even stream that no more unless you go to YouTube. And somebody had probably already uploaded on YouTube, so you good to go with that. But um, I'm just kind of disappointed, J. Cole, because it's kind of like if, if if in basketball, if you win the championship, how you going to go, oh, my bad, y'all didn't mean to beat you? Man, you want to be the best. You don't have to get into some fist and cuffs. I heard people say, you know, like Chuck D and some other people, like, oh, yeah, you know, we don't need this in our sport. No, we do need 
battle rap. It is it's healthy. Because right now, hip hop is dead, like Nas said in 2006. It's dead. Ain't nobody really doing nothing right now. You got Ice Spice. You got who else is out here? Coley Ray, Glorilla, like these type of women out here. You got NBA Young Boy, Kodak Black, all these idiots and weird fools coming out with this music. There's still some other people out here that's making their rounds, but it's like a small percentage. It ain't the majority how it used to be. So as far as Kendrick and J. Cole, we need this. I'm glad Rick Ross got back at Drake. That was, I was happy about that. Say what you got to say. Get it off your chest. We need this. We need the controversy. We need the, ooh, wow, ooh, go ahead. I've never seen Nas and Jay-Z apologize to, uh, to, me, to each other after that situation. I've never seen Karis one and MC Shan apologize to each other. They wasn't going to do that. Because at the end of the day, the beef is over, but it's like, okay, we said what we had to say, and it's cool. And MC Shan still won't smoke to this day. <laughs> DJ Quick and um, MC8 never apologized. They're cool now, but they didn't have to apologize for the records they put out. Tupac and Biggie made a rest in peace. They wasn't going to apologize for that. But I'm, I'm just speaking on real shit. Even Prodigy of Mob Deep, may he rest in peace. Even when Tupac died, he still said, I wanted to hurt that fool. He said, I wanted to hurt him. So I can respect somebody standing on business. But, you know, J. Cole, he's a great lyricist. I, I'm not going to take that away from him. But when it comes to battle rapping, brother, go find something else to do. Post your comments below. Hulk smash, Black Panther, the like button. Subscribe to my channel. Click the bell icon to be notified when I upload new content and go live. You want to support? Donate to the channel. I have Patreon. Patreon.com slash Kofi Universe. Venmo, Cash App, PayPal, Streamlabs. Everything's in the description. Till next time, salute.